Hi, my name is Brooke with Coast Ranch Company, and I wanted to talk about the versatility and safety aspects of our horse safe tie. You can find this information and more at horsesafetie.com. Number one for hauling. I always have my horse on a safe tie while they're in the horse trailer because if your horse gets their foot caught in your lead rope or panics while being hauled, they can get free if they have to and you're not going to have an injury. The other thing is when you're coming into the trailer to get a horse, some horses start panicking and backing up. If my horse did that, I wouldn't be caught in the middle of it because the horse would be able to get free instead of breaking a lead rope and smacking me in the face or something like that. So I always have my horse's safe side while hauling and then I just unclip and back out and clip to the side of the trailer. This clip is versatile because when I do clip it to the outside of the trailer, if I'm tied on grass and I feel like my horse is gonna try to slip out of it, I can always change this to a hard tie. Even for horses that don't have tying issues, this works great for the side of the trailer, the wash rack, and the hitching post. Because we've all seen where horses who are standing well behaved all of a sudden have a panic for no reason, and they don't stop until they get some sort of relief. Unfortunately, that relief usually comes from a broken halter, lead rope, or injured horse. This way, if the horse did begin to panic on the side of the trailer, if he pulled hard enough, he would get that relief without breaking anything or hurting himself. Especially for babies that don't understand being tied, Coast Ranch Company's horse safe tie is a great way to expose them to being tied without risking their safety. So the safe tie has two different size holes and you can use any size lead rope. So when you're going to switch to a smaller lead rope or mule tape halter, you put the carabiner in the larger hole and your rope loops through the small hole and over the top of the carabiner, making a safe tie. You can clip to the side of the trailer or wherever you're going to tie. To switch to the hard tie, it's the same as using the larger lead rope. You just roll down and now you can't get out. So if you have a horse or situation that you need some sort of relief for, but you don't want it to be able to get completely free, this is how I do use the safe tie. I run my rope through the same hole as the, the carabiner and come down around the other end of the safe tie. So here's your release. And when I tie my horse, I'm going to tie it. I run an emergency brake through the other hole. So this rope will come through here and I can pick my length. So if I want a foot of release, I'll tie here. And if she got in a panic and pulled back, it would go all the way to that emergency brake and she couldn't pull past that. You can go a foot, two feet, or all the way to the end of your lead rope. So it really depends on what you want and need. So if you like to camp or pack, all you need to make a high line is a rope and a safe tie.